hello everyone welcome back to my channel so on this video as you can see i'm going to be showing you how i made this delicious spicy jerk pork belly it is full of flavor super delicious and i cannot wait for you guys to try it so if you'd like to know how i made this then keep on watching <laughs> So for this recipe, you're going to be needing pork belly. I've got three pork slice, yeah. You're going to be needing some oil. So I'll be using spring onions, just the greens. And I've got half of an onion. I'll also be using scotch bonnet. For my dry spices, I've got chili powder, garlic, salt, jerk seasoning, and ginger powder so this is what i'm going to be using i'll go through the measurements throughout this video last but not least i'll be using some browning and that is pretty much it guys so let's get it started um, so first thing first what i would do is start off with prepping my vegetables so i'm just going to go ahead and chop my onion spring onion as well as the scotch bonnet this is how i'm going to chop it it's going to be a bit chunky yeah so I just want it to have that body. <laughs> yep, just loosen it up just like so. So that's it everyone, that's my, my uh, vegetables chopped. I'm going to put it aside. So now guys, I'm going to slice my pork. So I'm just going to cut it into small pieces. So once chopped up, I'm going to put it back into the bowl. Uh, just to let you know, my pork is already washed with lemon juice. So I washed it, it's nice and clean. So, so now we're going to season it with a tablespoon of all-purpose seasoning, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, chili powder, ginger powder, and a pinch of salt. So it's all going in there. And just massage it. Yeah, let it all get in nicely then next what i'm going to do is add just a little bit of browning do you know that <laughs> is a bit bitter one time i actually added way too much and it, it was not nice at all so just give it that nice color so um, i'm just gonna add a little bit more just gradually add it mix it together see how you like the color and um, add a bit more if you need to so this is perfect for me. This is absolutely perfect for me. So now onto the point where we mix everything together. This is literally my favorite part. So what you need to do is add your vegetable oil into the pan, about two tablespoons of vegetable oil or any oil of your choice that you prefer. So we're just gonna wait for that to get hot. So once the pan begins to get hot, make sure it's on high heat. So I'm just going to reduce the heat a little bit to like medium to medium high so that I don't get too excited. Remember this is, remember this is pork. Remember this is pork. So you want to make sure it's proper cooked, yeah, on every side. I'm just going to add it all in there. So the more you put it all together, it kind of creates like a broth, like a juice. So I'm just going to add it all in there. Do check on it. Remember, I've got my heat on medium, high. Rotate it. Make sure it's nice and frying, basically. Guys, I told you this is so delicious. If you do like this video, please don't forget to give this video a like, share it, comment. If you tried it, send me a picture as well. So I can actually post it on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, then please do because i'll be posting your pictures of you uh creating recreating my recipes so um yeah do send me pictures i'm just gonna cut those cut the part that because you don't want to let it go on each other <laughs> the love is too much like they're all up in each other's business <laughs> The love is too much. Look at that. So I'm just going to tie it up. Yep. There you go. 
and keep stirring, rotating, rotating, rotating. So you're going to be doing this for about 10 minutes, yeah? And if it's getting too much, that is getting too excited, you can reduce your heat to medium so that it doesn't get burned and it cooks nicely because sometimes it can deceive you. It looks like it's cooked on the outside, but inside is not cooked. So remember, this is pork. You do not want to eat like, you do not want to eat um, raw pork because it'll make you sick. So make sure it's nicely cooked, yeah? You guys, it smells amazing. It smells so nice. This would literally be a good Valentine meal. And it's so cheap to make it like, I think I've got the pork for my little. I think I got it for like one pound something. I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. Um, I'll verify it. And I'll leave the price in the description bar, bar below. So you can see for yourself. So, and all the seasoning, I'm sure you have it in your house already. So everything you have it at home. So just the pork, get from your supermarket and boom. After about 10 minutes, when it's looking nicely cooked, I'm gonna add my onions and just keep mixing it in. Just look at that. The spring onions on top, the chili on top. There you have it guys. This is perfect, easy, delicious dinner it is served. I'm serving it with fried plantain chips and mango puree. This is so good guys. I highly recommend you to try it. This goes so good with a sweet sauce. It's amazing. And of course for my drink I am drinking Fanta. This is not any Fanta. This is the type of Fanta I used to drink back home. Like the flavour is out of this world. Like it tastes so good than the Fanta that you can find in the, you know local shops like corner shops in the UK so this is amazing guys I'm just gonna wrap it up because I need to eat and drink and relax thank you so much for watching well, I hope you learned something from this video if you did like it please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe I'll speak to you all on my next video bye